गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइनटीन ऑफ जनवरी ट्वेंटी बिफोर वी मूव अहेड लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू दैट दीज क्वेश्चन आर पार्ट ऑफ अवर डेली ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यू सीरीज विच इज़ रनिंग इन द एप्लीकेशन सिंस टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो इफ़ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द टेक्सट वर्जन ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन यू कैन सब्सक्राइब इट टू गेट अ टेस्ट ऑफ डेली ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यूज along with their answers and explanation and uh, the application provides monthly revision document and also category wise compilation and once you subscribe it all content since 2021 becomes available to you in a well organized format fine so now without taking much of your time let's get started first question says vidisha the first district for deployment of innovative 5G use cases is located in which Indian state? So Vidisha is an aspirational district of Madhya Pradesh state, and recently it became the first ever district in India for on-ground deployment of innovative 5G use cases offered by the startup. Okay, so it is a joint initiative by Vidisha District Administration and. center for development of telematics which works under department of telecommunication fine and uh, department of telecommunication is pioneering with the 5g use case promotional pilot for deploying 5g 4g or iot innovative solutions of startups and smes at this vidisha fine so you have to remember that vidisha is the first district in india for deployment of innovative 5g use cases fine and it lies in the state of madhya pradesh next is which institution released the rural health statistic report so this report was recently published by the union ministry of health and family welfare and the report shows that there is a shortfall of more than 80% of the required surgeons in the 6064 community health centers across the country and uh, these centers are 30 bed block level health facilities which are supposed to provide basic care related to surgery gynecology and general medicine fine what's inside the report is not at all important only thing you have to remember is this report has been released by ministry of health and family welfare next is which public sector bank partnered with garud aerospace under the kisan pushpak scheme so the drone startup of chennai that is garud aerospace has recently partnered with the union bank of india because 150 garud agri kisan drones received the sanction for a loan under this kisan pushpak scheme okay and the drone loan will help the farmers to digitize land record operations for their crop production and spraying of fertilizers chemicals and the pesticide so this agri infrastructure fund scheme finances 150 drone applications that will actually benefit the farmer community and create 150 skilled pilots who will engage to become the entrepreneurs there okay so here correct answer would be union bank of india so union bank of india has partnered with garud aerospace under this kisan pushpak scheme fine next is which state or the union territory suggested the center to grant migrated minority status so delhi government has suggested that the center can grant migrated minority status to the hindus who moved to the national capital from the places like jammu and kashmir ladakh or where they are a religious minority fine so this is a part of a compilation of the views collected by the center from 24 states on whether religious and linguistic minority communities should be identified and notified by the union or the respective states so center has submitted 
an affidavit in the Supreme Court recently regarding this. Fine. So your correct answer would be New Delhi. Now apart from it, researchers at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and Unilever have collaborated to develop computational models to speed up screening of antimicrobials. Okay. And the models of the bacterial cell wall can speed up the screening of antimicrobials. And what are these antimicrobials? These are the molecules which can kill disease causing bacteria. Okay. And according to IISC, each bacterial cell is enveloped by a cell membrane which is in turn surrounded by a cell wall. Okay. So you can be asked that which institution has collaborated with IISC to develop the models to speed up screening of antimicrobial. So answer would be Unilever. Next is which ministry organized the Sur Sarita Symphony of Ganga program. So the world's longest river cruise MV Ganga Vilas was recently flagged off by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Varanasi. And Ministry of Culture has organized a grand curtain raiser cultural program named as Sur Sarita on the eve of the launch of the world's longest river cruise in Varanasi that is MV Ganga Vilas. So this concert was organized at the Kashi Vishwanath corridor. Fine. So you have to remember that Sur Sarita program is organized by Ministry of Culture. Now apart from it, India is currently hosting the Voice of Global South Summit. And our external affairs minister S. J. Shankar addressed the foreign minister session at this Voice of Global South Summit. So he said that the case for a global south sensitive model of globalization is becoming stronger and India stands for a shift from self-centered globalization to one that is human centered. Fine. So only thing you have to remember is which country has hosted the voice of global south summit. This country is India. And what is the theme for this particular summit? Yesterday we have talked about it. So the theme is unity of voice, unity of purpose. This was the theme for this summit. Okay. Next question is, what is the name of the indigenously built vessel to be used for India's manned ocean mission? Actually, India is set to send three explorers to a depth of 500 meters under the sea in an indigenously built vessel named as Samudrayan this year. And engineers at the National Institute of Ocean Technology in Chennai have designed the steel sphere that will house the aquanauts in the mission. Fine. So the name of this indigenously built vessel is Samudra Yan. Now apart from it, what is the name of the harvest festival that is celebrated before Makar Sakranti? That festival is Lori and it is a popular North Indian festival which marks the end of winter solstice and the beginning of longer days. So it is celebrated every year during the month of Paush, which is a day before Makar Sakranti and it is predominantly celebrated in Punjab and in other parts of the country such as Himachal Pradesh, Haryana, Jammu and Kashmir, etc. Fine. Next is Swastika Ghosh who was seen in the news recently plays which sport? Actually, Swastika Ghosh has recently defeated Liu Singh Yin and with this, she now became the fourth Indian to qualify for the World Table Tennis Championship and Liu is from the country China. Fine. And who are the rest other three who have qualified for the World Table Tennis Championship? So first name is Srija Akula, second is Manika Batra and the third name is Sharat Tamal. They have qualified for the world by finishing among the top 16 from the continent. Fine. So Swastika Ghosh is associated with table tennis and not tennis. Okay. Next is which country is set to send the rescue capsule to rescue three crew of the International Space Station. So recently Russia has announced that it would send the rescue capsule 
to protect three crew of the international space station after a meteorite damaged the spacecraft so the docked soyuz ms 22 had a major leak last month and with this it spray out the radiator coolant into space and prompt up a pair of cosmonauts to abort a planned spacewalk so russia's space agency roscosmos said the strike caused no immediate threat to the crew of the space station and now they are sending a rescue capsule to protect these three crew in the international space station fine right? so correct answer would be russia next is which country announced to increase retirement age from 62 to 64 by the year 2030 so prime minister of france has recently announced that they would increase the retirement age from 62 to 64 by 2030 and the government has defended the reform as a way to fiscally balance the country's pension system actually full french pension age will be raised by 3 months every year starting from 2023 okay so correct answer would be france next is which country assured to cooperate with small and the medium enterprises in the state of kerala so after the signing of the landmark bilateral trade pact india australia economic cooperation and the trade agreement kerala's food sector will open up more opportunities in australia so australian delegation assured to further cooperate with small and the medium enterprises in the state and this agreement will be beneficial for the sectors such as gems and jewelry textiles leather footwear furniture agricultural product engineering product pharmaceutical and automobile fine so this country is australia next is which country is the host of the annual climate change conference cop28 in 2023 so uae will be host for this year's annual climate change conference and uh, the country has named sultan al jabar who's the minister for industry and advanced technology as the president of the conference okay so this decision has now invited criticism from climate activist because al jabar is also the ceo of abu dhabi national oil company which is the world's 12th largest oil company by production fine important thing is who is the host for cop28 answer would be the country ua next is which organization forecasted the global growth in 2023 to be 2.7% so international monetary fund did not downgrade its forecast for 2.7% growth in 2023 and imf managing director kristalina georgieva said 2023 would be another tough year for the global economy so she noted that feared oil price spike had failed to materialize and labor market remained strong and also she said that she did not expect another year of successive downgrades like those seen in the last years okay so this is imf so these are the most important current affairs and the news from today and now let's start with our revision part in which we are covering the current affairs revision from the month of december 2022 and this is part 10 in this series let's start with question number 136 which institution issues the sovereign gold bonds for public subscription so reserve bank issues the sovereign gold bonds which is open for public subscription on behalf of the government What is the brand name of FMCG products introduced by Reliance? So Reliance consumer product has recently launched FMCG product named as Independence. Okay? Which institution released a report which stated that curbing air pollution in India need effort across South Asia? This was a report from World Bank. Which Indian player won the $10,000 Julius Baer Challenger Championship in Tel Aviv. This was won by Pragnantha R. Presently, which country launched the surface water and ocean topography spacecraft? So U.S. NASA has launched the Earth Science Satellite to track nearly all the water on the Earth's surface, 
and it was launched by a SpaceX rocket with a mission of three years. Fine. Right? So this satellite will actually measure the height of water in fresh water bodies and the ocean on more than 90% of Earth's surface. Fine. Right? Next is ICMR National Animal Resource Facility for Biomedical Research has been inaugurated in which Indian city? So Union Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Dr. Mansukh Mandviya, inaugurated this facility at Genome Valley in Hyderabad. Fine. And this is an EPICS facility which will provide ethical care and the use and welfare of laboratory animals during research. When is the International Migrants Day celebrated every year? This day is observed every year on 18th of December. Which institution launched the one week one lab campaign? So this was the initiative of CSIR. Full form is Council of Scientific and Industrial Research. Good Governance Week is observed during which month? This week is observed during December month and in the year 2022, we celebrated this week from 19th to 25th of December. You have to tell me when do we observe the Good Governance Day. With reference to World Trade Organization, TRIPS waiver is associated with which field? The full form of TRIPS is Trade Related Aspects of Intellectual Property Right. So it is associated with intellectual property. Next is, what is the name of second warship of P-15B class stealth guided missile destroyer recently commissioned in Indian Navy. This is INS Mormugao. And this is the second warship of P-15 class of stealth guided missile destroyer of Indian Navy. And it was commissioned at Naval Dockyard in Mumbai. And it was designed by Indian Navy's Warship Design Bureau. International Monetary Fund has approved a deal that will provide a $3 billion support package to which country? So IMF has approved a deal that will provide a $3 billion support package to the country Egypt for over almost four years. What is the name of the portal for in-vehicle navigation to the nearest public EV charger? Answer of this portal is EV Yatra portal. And our president Draupadi Murmu has launched this portal and a mobile application to facilitate in-vehicle navigation to the nearest public EV charger. And Bureau of Energy Efficiency has developed this mobile application. Who has been announced as the winner of the 2022 Stephen Adberg Sportsmanship Award? This award was presented to Casper Rood. And he is from the country Norway. Which country is the host of United Nations Biodiversity Conference COP15? So COP15 was organized in Montreal in Canada and the negotiators at United Nations Biodiversity Conference reached to an agreement which seeks to spend $200 billion towards supporting the biodiversity by 2030. Okay. So these are the next 15 questions from the month of December and tomorrow we'll be doing the questions from 151 up to 165. Okay. And once we reach to question number 240, then we'll be done with our December month current affairs. And uh, after that, we'll come to November month. Fine. Now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahad Sana signing off.